name some iconic villains. Melissa Jafar. Sucks. Oh, oh, Cruella de Vil, <gasps> classic Deville. villain. Thanos. Thanos. Ursula. Ursula. I, me. Me. <laughs> yeah. I'm I about to say me. <laughs> you get to decide. I love this. Are these villains really villains, oh, or are they victims? Being a Gemini too, I feel for villains a lot. <laughs> Do they deserve it? <sighs> right on. Not always. I'm way too empathetic for this kind of thing. I will like look for a reason for them to be good. We we agreed. Yeah, we agreed. Yeah. You did. On and some. On you some. convinced me out of some. Is this psycho? Mm. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. What did see my thing is what did she do? Even though it's terrifying, it brings me so much comfort to yeah. watch this movie. What made you get a knife pulled on you? <gasps> I, I mean, come now. Firstly, there's a lot happening in this. Yeah. Look at his acting. <laughs> <laughs> this is Norman Bates from oh. Psycho, an Alfred Hitchcock film from the 1960s. I've iconic. seen the iconic shower scene with the knife and the sound. Do you consider the canon of the Psycho movie just Psycho, or do you include the Bates Motel? I think I also include the ba Bates Motel stuff. Interesting. Cause... I don't. So Norman <laughs> Bates, he runs the Bates Motel while his mother watches from the house on the hill, or so we think. Norman murders under the guise of his mother's personality that he switches on and off. Oh, he's a Gemini. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody buys that wig and whatever he's wearing as his mom. Drag. Yep. Come on. Come on, drag. <laughs> Villain. <Victim? gasps> oh. What? What? <laughs> he needs he just needs a little bit of of help. Like I understand that he's got problems, but that's not an excuse you just give to everybody if they murder an innocent person. <laughs> it doesn't make you Innocent. No, it doesn't make Especially you innocent. Especially if they've gotten like joy out of the moment and have continued to do it without any remorse. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry, fill in, fill in. Can we redo that? Fill in. Fill in. I'm not redoing it. <laughs> you said what you said. <laughs> yeah. I, my argument was going to be for he's a victim, but you've actually convinced me. You're right. You, I, I think both of his person, I think all of his personalities are kind of villains. Yeah. I 100% Vil. I go victim. He's a victim. I go victim. I go victim. <laughs> Misunderstood yeah. sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> when you're in the tram at Universal Studios, he runs after the whole tram with a knife. That's true. That's true. He's a main scary part. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. He's a villain. Villain. This is Moana. He got hit by a volcano man, and he survived. Hey, volcano lady, oh. all right? Period. <laughs> Period. Period. Don't be doing that to him. No. Do you see that face? Say, you're welcome. Oh, this movie is fire! <laughs> These graphics. Yes. <gasps> oh, wait, I so cried in this scene, though. Yeah. I know your name. I, I haven't seen, seen this either, no. I haven't seen it. Wow, That just from that, I have to go home and watch this. Are you about to ask if this lava person lady is the but villain? But have you seen the movie though? No. Tefiti's heart was stolen by the demigod Maui in a misguided act of heroism and Tefiti turned into Teka because Maui stole her heart. Okay, first of all, I'm loving this Whoa. drama. Under How are you supposed to have heart if you don't have a heart? <gasps> yeah. You, know? you said it. Duh, I would be angry too if you stole my heart. May I bring up one counterpoint? Yes, As please. As someone who's never seen the movie. <laughs> okay. She's a giant made out of lava that's, that's trying to attack a child. <laughs> that's fair. Uh, like, she had her heart stolen? Me come too. on now. And that's honestly me when I'm just hungry. Yeah. So I that's she's giving hangry. She's missing her heart, man. <gasps> that's true. Is the child responsible for that? Technically no, but her people are. Yeah. She needs her heart back and she needs some fruit snacks. Yes. <laughs> I mean Exactly. I, I think nature needs to be preserved, especially when you're Take it going out into nature, and you're a guest in nature. Who's the villain? Moana, Maui. You're welcome. <laughs> victim. It's screaming victim. Yeah, Teka is screaming victim from the rooftops. I'm I'm right on the edge because like the actions were somewhat negative, but yeah. I understand where she's coming from, so I'm gonna go victim. But I'm gonna say victim because the actions were only kind of towards those people. Who wronged her? I'll let I'll yield to my friend here and I, say that she's a victim. Truthfully, I will say Tafiti or Taka is a victim, and the true villain of that movie is freaking Maui, dude. <gasps> her, give me wait. my stuff back. Yeah. Give me it back. <laughs> give me it. my like, stuff. Like, give me my stuff. Stuff. Uh, Mother. <laughs>
Regina this, George. Is uh, this uh, Mean Girls, huh? Uh, yeah, I've seen this. That, okay, <laughs> they did her so dirty with the Calatine bars. <laughs> She really hit that note well. I'm not gonna lie, she hit that. You know that's a wig? What a great wig. Isn't that crazy? That's yeah, crazy. This is so iconic. My name is Regina George, and I am a massive deal. I've ever met. She is it's a not... fugly I mean, this is like the height of like high school angst. Drama. She's got quite the acting range, huh? She really does. Does the notebook after this? Yeah, literally immediately. Yeah. <laughs> She's a victim. She's a victim. Uh, <laughs> she is a victim. Period. Straight up villain. Yeah. Yeah, okay, <laughs> good. Thank God. Yeah, yeah. She has a book called The Burn the, the book. book. She was a villain before she became vilified. <gasps> and everyone was just like mad at her because she was just prettier than them. No, but she was mean. <laughs> Dude, she's a villain. Come on. But the burn book's not like going out to anyone. Like, it's not like they know. She got ganged up on when she was just being herself <laughs> at the, from the beginning. I mean, she's been wow. authentic. Regina George is sort of a device in this film, if right. you think about it. Totally. Because mm. Katie is, becomes Regina George. Totally. She becomes the villain. The villain. Aside from the fact that her mom is Amy Poehler, which is like amazing, her yeah, mom very clearly has tried to buy her off her Sisters! entire life. That's and true. be besties with her. That's true. So like, then how are you supposed to have any type of compassion or empathy towards other people? Yeah. However, she's still a biatch. She's a bratty little yeah, biatch. I mean, she bullied that Lindsay Lohan character the whole mm -hmm. time, and then Lindsay got a little popular, mm -hmm. and then she wanted to take her down, so then Lindsay made her mm -hmm. fat. <laughs> yeah, then, that's yeah, true. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. I mean, they're out there fighting. They're just going straight to the Dukes. Yeah. She's going to the book. <laughs> Come on she's now. She's peaceful. She's just writing her journal. Um, she's the perfect life and she's still the meanest person alive. She's kind of a lot like Eric Cartman. Yes! <laughs> Total villainous biatch. <laughs> she's giving victim to me. Victim. Victim energy. Victim. Villain. Villain. Yeah. Both of you. Yeah, villain. Yeah. No. That's a villain. Come yeah, on. Yeah. Uh, I say victim. <gasps> Honestly, well, she's kind of like she had the she got what was coming to her, but like she had it coming. You both still agree though. She's yeah. a villain through and through. Of course. Mm -hmm. All yeah, right. She's kind of a would have bullied her in the first place. She wouldn't have had to get payback. You know what I mean? Yeah. They stole it from us. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! I, like, I just watched this the other day. Oh my god! Master took me precious! This is a tough one. I know, wow! Yeah, you got me, you got me! Dude, this guy's just trying to get his ring back. Yeah, yeah he looks it's, so sweet. Come on now. It's giving Dobby vibes from Harry Potter, too. Guys. How can you hate Dobby? It's so weird that he's like kind of cute. Come on, look it's at those, those, it's big, those eyes. big eyes. Yeah, exactly. He ends up finding this ring and thinks his bestie's gonna try and steal this ring from him. And in order to get the ring away from his bestie, he kills his bestie. Yeah. And now he has yeah. possession of the ring. He ends up becoming like evil. His whole family outcasts him and he ends up going to live in a mountain where he just focuses on his precious. Yeah. Smeagol, victim, Gollum, villain. Ooh, <gasps> I like that. Yeah. <laughs> if you know the movie, the ring is just too powerful. You can't control yourself. It's really not you. Frodo almost killed Sam. Yeah. And so the ring just makes you crazy. So he's a victim. It's the ring. You know what wow. the thing is? You wow. have to see the okay. best in everybody. He has a good side. You can hear it. You can hear it. He goes back and forth. You have nice guy and bad guy. He he killed his friend. He killed his friend. He killed his friend. He went there. You know what I'll say? He's a villain that is a victim of circumstance. Yes. It's giving victim. Oh, big time big victim. victim. Big Hero, victim. even. Victim. victim. Right? It's not really his fault. I mean, a magical power that makes you crazy, I mean, that's out of your control. It's a little bit different. Yeah. It's, it's not his fault that the ring cursed him, yeah. but the ring cursed him, and it changed who he was, yeah. and that's that. He Villainous killed his actions. friend so fast. So fast. Very like, quickly. He was preyed on by an evil ring, but he succumbed to it. <gasps> Villain. Yeah. He loves a little bit of drama. There's nothing wrong nothing with that. Wrong with that. <laughs> Obviously, you know, Smeagol, we, I will love him around. He keeps, he's gonna keep me on my toes. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's just, I don't know, drizzling. Ooh, We're good movie. For this she's at work. First off, this is one of my favorite movies. <laughs> she's yeah. literally she, a boss. She's there? giving me boss. Yeah. Boss. The other, what she's like, move at the glacial pace. <gasps> Get away from her, she's useless and unattractive. <laughs> you have no style, no sense of fashion. She's not really a victim or a villain. She just kind of, like, neither. 
I love question. Meryl Streep. I mean, yeah. Especially yeah. in this movie. Right She's just a, a tough businesswoman trying to make it in the real world. Anne Hathaway moping around crying that she's got a tough boss. Like, grow up. <laughs> Millennial. I didn't really see villain in that clip. I, I just saw a woman who gets what she wants. Running a multi billion dollar company. Yeah, she has a lot of pressure on her shoulders. a lot of pressure, and she's wearing it well. Yeah, that's true. High fashion hero. Ah, but, dude, she's not a villain or a victim. She's just a boss woman. She's out there taking control, and you got these little wimps out there crying <laughs> and moaning that they have to get coffee and show up on time. It's like, cry me a river. <laughs> Do your job. Miranda is arguably very evil, but I would say that it's evil with purpose. It's almost like Harley Quinn. She's evil, mm. but it has purpose behind it. She's not cruel, or she is cruel, but with it's not unintentional. You know, I think I okay. think the fashion world is a very cutthroat business, and she got there by like kind of having this like villainous outside. In that world, that it's like, so come on true. now, like you don't know who to trust. You don't. You don't so know. you have to keep your guard up a little bit. Yeah, I think it can be strict though. You don't gotta call people ugly. What the? It's, well, it's a fashion magazine. <laughs> I think that might I mean, be kind of a, a deal. But there's they're literally starving themselves on her team in order to appease her because she at the drop of a hat will be like, you're fired. She's got the power yeah. to be the change in the world that she oh, needs to true see. Too. You're not wrong. Yeah. Like when she even made her that predicament to go get the steak and go get the book. She was doing it for her kids. That's true. So there's a comment in the movie that that where, yeah, where Miranda sure Tate is, but like, literally is on. like, she's like, I have to play the game too. I know I'm your boss, but I, even I have to play the game. Oh. Well, I mean, that's Good pretty point. convenient. I'm a woman, that's that's right? pretty like, convenient yeah, yeah. for her to say that. <laughs> <laughs> she's for sure a victim. I agree with Haley. You, if you had to pick victim or villain, I, you're no, gonna I call pick her a hero. <laughs> I'm going victim. I'm going victim. So I'm gonna call Meryl Streep a villain in this. One, two, three. Hero. Villain, but villain with purpose, I think. Oh. I'd like to pick victim with an asterisk at the bottom that says Nick really believes she's a hero. All right, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> I know, either we're like super understanding or very toxic. Toxic <laughs> is toxic for me. <laughs> Is the shark a victim? <laughs> Are we talking about whether the shark is the villain? Oh my oh. god, it's literally, that's his habitat. Hello? Interesting. Makes you think, is huh? Is Jaws a victim or a villain? You know what the villain is? Humans. An animal killing on instinct. <laughs> Oh, how are you gonna go into his home, invade home. his space? Come on now. If I went into your house, yeah, and just kidnapped you and I, and, and I called the police, like, yo, he's the villain here. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna be like, yo, sir, come with me. <laughs> like, yeah. you're tripping. Like, if I went into a bear enclosure and expected the bear not to absolutely tear my leg off, that's kind of my fault. <laughs> if I go in the ocean, I know I take the risk of getting bitten by a shark. You go anywhere, you take any risk. That's true, but I'm just saying, for the shark's sake. Why is Jaws a villain? Um, I guess because he like ate all those people. Jaws, literally, he was like, oh, that kid's gonna grow up to be a really bad person, exactly. so I'm just gonna take him out now. You know <laughs> <laughs> My cat loves me, but if it didn't have anything to eat, it would try to and kill me. Absolutely, 100%. Look at the people that get, the surfers that get bitten, they always be like, oh, it wasn't the shark's fault. Yeah. I was in his habitat, I was tripping. Yeah. You know, that's what they always say. That so is they never blame the shark. I just know that like that shark was a bitch in production. Like. <laughs> It just like the first time that they brought it in the water, it didn't move. It broke, and they it was like it took so much time to like get the animatronic working. <gasps> so it's a villain. Yeah, I think it's a villain. It's a villain. Like, it's so a villain to that production. <laughs> Shark is the victim. <gasps> okay, and every you stand way. by that. I think he's a victim. He's such a victim. He's literally being hunted for being yes. himself. And what are you villain? <gasps> Why? There's a point where it's like, all right, dude, stop. You know what I mean? <laughs> I wouldn't want to be eaten. Yeah. I'm giving it vil is 100% a victim. Um, obviously, it's very sad that a lot of people were eaten by Jaws. Yeah, 100%. The scene, the dude is literally throwing blood in the water. Like, yeah, he's, he's trying to get him to come on, so he, the, you're confusing him. They're gaslighting him. They're gaslighting him. Not by the hair on your chinny chin chin. Oh, okay. you know I have a Stanley Kubrick tattoo. I know you Obsessed. do. Obsessed, obsessed. He has an axe. Yeah. 
What are we doing here? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no! The Shining? I refuse. Let me in. I just want to talk. <laughs> the girl, she looks so scared. Another victim of circumstance. 100%. But, but truly villain. chose the villainous yeah. route. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, here's Johnny. Johnny. What do we know about Jack? He's I'm... a struggling writer, former school teacher. I think uh, if you... If Give you... him all the adjectives you want. He's a, vi he's a, he's a villain. He's a villain. The Shining, like is a possession like it's just a spirit like it manifests itself in so many ways and it makes him crazy and it's not his fault it's literally mental illness he has a history of violence yeah. and alcoholism or is it the hotel oh, that's or was it inside him to begin with <gasps> well i mean like mm. Ooh, tough call <laughs> if you believe in ghosts i feel like they're gonna be like mm. We, yeah. we've, we've touched on this theme multiple times now. Personal it, demons aren't a good enough excuse no. for your demonic action. It, the how it was kind of like a ring situation. Is it, it, it the house that's making him crazy? Because he is seeing things. Like he walks yeah, in. Yeah. He has like the whole like uh, ball going on mm -hmm. and stuff. He dies at the end. He freezes to death. And oh, his family survives. That's like a sad way to go out. Yeah. yeah. It is a sad way to go out. Here. When you're married. You, you sort of vow that uh, you're going to take care of your partner uh -huh. in sickness and health. With an you ass. certainly don't <laughs> vow <laughs> you crash in their skull. You have to consider him a vil. Full on villain. Trying to kill his wife. Yeah, literally, with with a very large ax. Such a bitch, Dom. I misunderstood. Mean, after hearing the lady's defense, Haley's defense, he has to be a victim. Wait, would it have still happened? Let's say the house isn't haunted. Would something similar have happened? If he yeah, was, he kind of seems like he'd be an asshole. So I, I give him, I'll give him villain. Wait, so you're saying villain as I'm well? I'm gonna say villain. Yeah. All right. He's, yeah. A anger villain. Yeah. 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 Villain. Okay. Yeah, we all need a Haley on our team. <laughs> exactly. Isn't that the truth? Yeah. I can justify anything. <laughs> <gasps> oh, Game of Thrones! I've never seen it. Really? Never. I've never seen it. It's with uh. Channing Tatum's fiance's ex stepdad. Is okay, it? whoa, that's no. No, it's fine. This is set like, off what is basically this era's version of a nuke in the middle of your capital city. Literally, is that her? Yes. Ooh. You yeah. didn't know the tea? No, oh. I, I've never seen Game of. <gasps> the tea is crazy. Oh. So like, you know, she had a husband. Okay. To a, like, she's the queen to the husband, yeah. but she's having an affair with her brother. Oh, hell no. <laughs> and then the no. new king is her next son, King Tommond, and she just exploded his future bride in that castle. Oh, didn't care. Villain. Ah, I mean, she's just torture, manipulation, and murder. Yes. What girl boss! <laughs> I yes, love it. Yes, I can keep girl boss. Yeah, is Cersei a villain? Yeah, she caused her son to kill himself. Yeah. Beyond the hundreds of thousands of people she murdered with the fire. Well, she does a lot of grimy stuff. Okay. But it's always for her family. To set her kids it's up for always. success. Yes. No, no, exactly. Yeah. Hands I mean, down. You got it right there. I'll do whatever I have to do. As a mother, as a One father, day, I will know? do what I have to do. Yeah. Yeah. Cersei Lannister is a villain. Yeah. I, I, there's yeah, no yeah, two ways about it. She victim. will do anything. <gasps> victim already. You, I don't and know. You she's are... cute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Didn't care that she was in there? Did she want she her wanted to, die? to She wanted her to Oh, die. okay. Yeah, villain. I would be like doing a disservice to everybody who watches Game of Thrones and loves Game of Thrones if I was to say that she was a poor victim because <sighs> nothing in her would ever want to be called a victim ever. Uh, it was yeah, easy. Villain. Yeah, easy. Yeah. Did you see the like smile on her face when yeah. she killed all those people? Yeah. No, no. I I'm convinced. I agree. Woo! You know, she she's just doing what she has to do. You need an as assistant a attorney. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, Davy Jones. Oh, okay, I, so I just watched this movie. On. I immediately smell the ride. I'm like, and there's Orlando. Oh yeah, looking so beautiful. A little casual. That texture is so cool. Like this. Yeah. Thing. Like his beard is his tentacles. Oh, that's so cool. He breathes out of his tentacles. Yeah, he does. He's, He's got no nose. Uh, <laughs> Why are you kind of into it? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So Davy Jones was originally a human sailor. Yep. He fell deeply in love with the sea goddess Calypso. And in their love, Jones made a deal with Calypso to ferry souls lost at sea to the afterlife using the Flying Dutchman, his ship. And in return, 
he would only spend one day ashore every 10 years. However, Calypso failed to meet him during his one day on land and his heartache and betrayal made him, turned him into like a creature resembling all the sea life, a punishment imposed upon him for his refusal oh. to continue his duties. Oh my God, you have one job every 10 years and you can't pull that off? Are you kidding me? <laughs> what yeah. are Davy Jones's crimes? What does he do other um, than be a pirate? Well, he's a murderer. <laughs> Who does he murder? Though? A lot of pirates. <laughs> show Just show up for one day, dude. I hope I have that effect. Like, we already know what happens when you rip a heart out, you know? Yeah. That's you turn it into a fire island. Good things. That's a broken heart. Yeah. So, Haley, if you stood me up like that. <laughs> he's coming into people at a time when they're about to pass on to the next life and be like, either you can pass on or I have a deal for you and keep living but you have to work for me. I mean, he just kind of sounds like an entrepreneur to me now. <laughs> Imagine waiting 10 years for something and it not no, coming. I want to cry. Oh. That is sad. He needs more self-control, more self-love. He's oh. got to find out what's oh. going on in here. Oh my wow. God. You're... Yeah, I think he's a victim in this scenario. <gasps> okay. We're a victim. Such Come a victim. On. Come on now. He's going victim. I think so. Okay. Even though he's a bit of an incel. You think no. he's a villain? Yeah, dude. No, he, he thinks he's a simp. <laughs> well, I can't Literally. choose sip, otherwise I would. Yes, he's really evil. There we go. I he's would be evil villain. too if like a promise was broken. <gasps> like, yeah. Do you think he's a victim or a villain? I know he's a villain. <laughs> so. Yeah, he's a villain. You can't blame it on yeah. some woman. He made the choice. Okay. She's not coming. She's he's like, no, she's coming. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll order. I'll order no. for her. <laughs> <laughs> He looks like that screen painting, the Van Gogh that's like. Do you think you're out of tune? <laughs> no! He gets the same pass as uh, as the Devil Wears Prada. 100%. <laughs> I feel this so viscerally. So much. So, music yeah. Kid. You're out of tune. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're not meant for band camp, boy. Go back home. But why the f kid becomes you like say one of the so? best drummers around? He does. He's a feared jazz conductor who manipulates his musicians into greatness, or so he thinks. Yeah, it's his version of greatness. Yeah. He is a villain. He yeah. surprises him at the end with a song that he wasn't ready for. Like, come That's on. That's true, but he did it to challenge him. If, if you're competing against me on like, who's the best violinist, then I'm just gonna wanna be better than you. Fuck the pressure. I'm trying to just be better, be the best. Like, I don't need someone to yeah, degrade but... me in the process. They can be strict and they can put me in check. But you're right. talking about being better at being the best. Yeah. But I don't know, this might be our one. I, I, I'm I feeling the same. You should never talk to somebody like no, that. No, and like that you know. kid obviously yeah. held a lot of value to that moment and to talk down to someone when they're so vulnerable. You know, like, be, there's a thin line between being like a strong teacher and a total effing d the way he treats his students, mm -hmm. he's a villain. Yes. Like, mm -hmm. I, I, you just, I, I don't care how good of a teacher you are. There's <laughs> ways to reach students that aren't. The <laughs> why did you <laughs> play the right note? <laughs> Fletcher, a victim or a villain? A villain. Nah, he's a victim. He's a villain. Damn. Dog, he hits no. people. Villain. I'm gonna say villain. He's just me. Yeah. Like, like he's especially if you're a jazz teacher, girl. Come Villain's on. Villain's gonna vill. I'm gonna go villain. Yeah. I'm usually, you know. Try to figure it out, but I gotta I gotta do my homework tonight. In this context, I'll say villain, but I will watch the movie and yeah. I will report back. Yes. <gasps> he yelled at that kid. That kid probably never picked up his little horn again. Never. That's just... Actually, probably. <gasps> <gasps> like in all honesty. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. He's destroying music. Yes. Oh, okay, villain. <laughs> villain. <laughs> my favorite victim was Mel Street. Regina. Regina. No, Miranda uh, uh, Priestley. No, Deborah, De Deborah Wars Prada, the big really? last woman, of course. Mm -hmm. Jack Torrance is my mm, favorite course, victim, yeah. yeah. Oh, you know what, the sharks. <gasps> Goodbye! <laughs>